Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Last week I uploaded a video talking to you guys about how you can be confident with thin hair and in that video I told you guys that I do have rather thin hair. I also showed you guys footage of me in wet hair just to show you guys how thin it actually is. If you did miss that video, go check that one out. I think it can be very helpful for anybody. Today I'm sharing 10 tips or hacks for people with thin hair that could help you guys out in your daily life, maybe make it look a bit fuller. Most of these tips are not necessarily there to help you guys out on how you can make your hair look a lot more voluminous. Some of it might be there to do that as well, but I will probably be making another video where I kind of do hairdos and show you guys what I would do if I would want my hair to look more voluminous. This is more just how you can take care of your hair and, you know, make sure that it get, doesn't get that much thinner and to make sure that it doesn't get all crazy looking because when you We are basically blessed that we have thin hair, so if we ever decide to air dry it in the morning, at least for me, it takes around an hour for it to air dry. So I can basically wake up, go to the shower, and by the time I would be leaving out of the house, it definitely will be dry by then. And I think that's awesome. It's much less work, and you don't have to do a lot. Plus, I feel like that way, I do get the most volume out of my hair. I do realize that that might be more specific to me because I do have naturally curly hair as well. So if I let it air dry, my natural curls are at their best as well and obviously the curls do give me a bit more volume. If you haven't tried that out, do try it out because I feel it gives the best voluminous look to your hair possible and also it does much, much less damage. Don't sleep with wet hair. I think that's like the biggest sort of mistake. So I would never take a shower in the evening and then go to sleep with my wet hair and assume that in the morning my hair would look in any way good at all. So that's one of the things I feel like, especially people with very thin hair have to deal with is that if they would sleep with um, wet hair, mine at least just goes, completely crazy. I look like a troll in the morning and I cannot get my hair in control anymore because when it's this thin, if I just sleep on it wrongly, then it will mold into that position. And yeah, just not a good idea. So I'm if you do want to blow dry your hair, then blow dry it head upside down. That really gives so, so much more volume. I myself have the problem of actually keeping it that voluminous. It does kind of flatten out so easily in a very short while already. Obviously it helps if you put a little bit of hairspray there as well then. If you haven't tried that already, that is such a good tip. I don't understand why I haven't done that always. And since I realized that blow drying it upside down gives so much more volume to my hair, that's how I always do it. So definitely don't blow, your, blow dry your hair just like this. That's gonna make it even more flat. And while you're down there, just spray some hair, just spray some hairspray to it as well. That will also help out. And then you can comb it out a bit and make it look a little bit less like completely crazy. But yeah, that would be my third tip. Use the least amount of heat as humanly possible. And I am saying this with experience. So I am 26 years old, I'm going on 27, and since I was 13 years old, I have been straightening my hair every day. I really, really wish that I would have not done that. That is, that has done so much damage to my, to my, what's it called, to the ends of my hair. And yeah, I think that has also contributed to the fact that my hair has maybe even gotten a little bit l more thin, and I don't know, it just looks so damaged still and I think I have a lot of work to do to start making it look a little bit more healthy. I mean, I'm on a good road here since four months, three months. I have not been using any heat at all. You already have such thin hair anyway. It's gonna look so much more damaged, so much more faster and so much more easy. All that blow drying, all that straightening made my hair look dry and brittle and I don't know guys, it was just a nightmare. And because I did it so much, Every morning I felt like I must straighten my hair because the first time, whenever I decided not to straighten it or blow dry it, it just, it just looked like really crazy. It took a while for my hair to start getting used to it not being straightened and not 
being, being blow dried and yeah if you do anything if you're already using heat on your hair every day stop it right now it's not doing any good for you the next few tips are to do with the products that you use on your hair so this can be a journey it has been for me and I still am on my journey in fighting in finding the perfect products for my hair but really invest the time to do that because when you find the right shampoo the right styling products whatever products you do decide to use on your hair it will make the world of a difference as well i'm definitely going to be doing a hair care kind of routine video for you guys as well so i won't talk too much about the products that i do use also important don't use too much products like <laughs> there's a limit to how much products you actually need on your hair and I also found that using any kind of oils on my hair especially on the daytime is just a complete no-go so if I would use oil on my hair that would only be for a hair mask and I would use it on the night or before I shower but never would I put oil to my um to the ends of my hair to give it some shine or something because it really doesn't do that all it does is make my hair look oily so It took me so many years to finally try out dry shampoo. I just never really knew how to use it and I was just always very skeptical that it would look good on me. I don't know why, but a few months ago, maybe half a year ago, I bought my first ever dry shampoo and guys, I am addicted to this stuff. And it also helps me so much with not having to wash my hair every day. I will link the one that I'm using down below. It's a natural dry shampoo and it's seriously the best stuff ever. It is so, so good. Plus what dry shampoo also does is it helps give you some volume if you need any extra volume to your hair on that day. So So I already have quite long hair. I actually have a um, hairdresser appointment next week to get it cut again. And already here I see how dead some of the ends here are. And that's just what happens with thin hair very, very easily. It is said a lot of the time that a short haircut is better for thin hair haired girls. Now I know that's hard to hear. Trust me, for my whole life all I wanted to have is this thick, long, curly mermaid hair and that was like my dream hair. But you know, like I said, it's just so unrealistic that that's gonna happen to me because my hair is naturally thin. And with sh short hair, you can also make it look a lot thicker, especially because your hair is so much more healthier on the roots over here. And you know, if you cut it, you only have healthy hair. Where Don't go with layers. I don't know why so many of my hairdressers, especially in my teenage years, probably I just didn't go to the right hairdressers, but they always thought, oh, I'm gonna put layers on this girl because, you know, that's gonna help her hair look thick. And this, I believe, is very, very true that layers help your hair look thick. But this is again for those people who have thin hair, but it's not as thin as mine. If you would make layers on my hair, no, it just it just makes my ends look that much thinner than they already are. And it just it yeah, it's not pretty. I've done it a couple of times and it's just always made my hair look even more thin. And if you have as thin hair as mine, I'm betting that that's what it's going to be doing for your hair as well. So try to have an even haircut as good as possible. Again, I think if you have really short hair, that's again much easier to go layer out and it will look thick still, but especially if you want to have a bit longer hair or long hair, do not go with layers. It's just not going to work so Please eat a healthy diet and this is so important because you already have such thin hair and for any woman, any man, any person, hair loss is just, it's very stressful. If you have thin hair and you start losing hair, trust me, with experience, it is so, so stressful because you're thinking, if I lose any more hair, I am this close to being bald. That's not a nice feeling and I believe that I could have avoided all of that hair loss. Again, it wasn't actually too much but I did realize it on time so I started to adapt my diet again and make sure that I am eating a healthy whole foods diet predominantly to make sure that I'm getting all the necessary vitamins and nutrients in order for my hair to grow and be healthy. Do some research 
learn about what is healthy and what is not and what can help your hair grow. So. I get you because you do put so much thought into it. You think that everybody's looking, you think that everybody can see your scalp. Uh, there are so many thoughts going in your head which really are only in your head and it is all a waste of time. You guys look beautiful with your hair. Some people have thick hair, some people have thin hair and that's the way it is. You guys, we are thin haired friends now so please put it in the comments down below if you also have thin hair like me. Let's make sure that everybody knows that they're not alone. Those were my 10 tips for anybody with thin hair. I hope those could help any one of you guys out. If you did like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe for my channel for more videos and I will see you guys in my next one. Moi moi!